Quite two hours from Boston, Portland, Maine, the state's largest city, has grown quite the national reputation for both its food and craft beer scenes. If that's not reason enough to visit, we found a few winter gems that are sure to warm you up. Though it may feel a world away just south of the city, understated luxury set on the shoreline of Cape Elizabeth, in by the sea. I don't think that there's anything intentionally that, that makes you want to unplug or relax. It just it ends up working out that way. General Manager Michael Briggs says there's something else at work here too. The resort is consistently rated one of the best in the country to bring your best friend. We could have, say, 120 guests in house on a Saturday night and maybe 50 dogs, so almost half the hotel. This dog-centric resort doesn't just accept your four-legged family member, they serve up the royal treatment. Chef Andrew Chadwick has taken the, the dog cuisine menu to another level. We partner with L.L. Bean, of course, being here in Maine for all of our, our dog beds and the guest rooms on arrival and the, the comfort items, toys. Yeah! A doggone doggy heaven, including for hundreds of rescue pups that have found their forever homes. In a partnership with the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland, one lucky pup lives at the resort until they find that special guest or staff member. Guests check in and they tend to check out with uh, another pup if they came with a dog uh, or they, they notify someone who's looking for a dog. Paisley didn't have to wait long. It was probably day three or day four that I met Paisley behind the front desk. So, oh, look at that. So she was a quick study. She slept over in my suite and I called the, the rescue league the next day and, and paid the donation check and brought her home and surprised my family with beagle number two. Lest we forget to mention, this is a luxury human hotel too. From beachside suites where even the fireplaces have a view to s'mores by the fire for kids and adults. And the indulgent menu, avocado toast with beet hummus, almond stuffed French toast. Works of art to stimulate your eyes and your taste buds. Warm fire, warm coffee. We really scored Nav, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to look too far to find sun-soaked wilderness views via Snowshoe in Portland. They run right through the city. It's true. They snake all through the city and they look all different. So some of them are like this, which is the beautiful Four River Sanctuary. It's definitely that feeling of being out in the woods, um, a, a real escape into nature. But then we also have other trails that go through the city that are more like paths. Highlands, lowlands. Lindsay Conrad with Portland Trails, a land trust that oversees 70 miles, says there is a trail within a half mile of every resident in the city, which means you can strap into nature from one trail to another. We often find people slapping on some snowshoes, going on a trail, ending at a brewery for a, a little beer, and then heading back out. Whether it be a mode of transportation or a moment of reflection, Portland Trails hopes to appeal to everyone. Trails aren't just for trailsy people. <laughs> As Portland becomes a more diverse place, we're really looking to see um, how can we take the trails that we have um, and make them more welcoming. If snowshoeing works up an appetite, this is one of the coziest spots in town, the yard where you can eat outside no matter the season. It's an in thing to be able to eat outside. Obviously we have a much longer winter than other places, so people are stuck inside and they still want to be able to enjoy the outdoors. Igloos may have been a COVID fix, but they are now here to stay. I probably get calls from right before we open until right before we close asking if they can make a reservation. Yeah. These. The menu, a taste of Maine with an upscale fast food vibe. It's a thing. The taco burger, guacamole on it, lettuce, tomato, add a queso cheese. It's like a fast food like burger container except for it's made out of steel. From gourmet salads to blueberry barbecue wings, nominated the best in the city. You can try your luck with grilled shijito peppers. They're not high on the hut scale, but one in 10 will catch you off guard. We got lucky. And wash it all down with a fiery sweet treat. You get your option of a Hershey's bar, a Reese's cup, or you can do one of each, some graham crackers, and then skewers with some marshmallows on them. And then we light the little um, flame on fire.
Yummy. And mm. back to Inn by the Sea. It's one of several inns in Maine participating mm -hmm. in hospitality for Habitat this spring. Right. It's a nice program. The hotels offer rooms at half the normal rate on certain dates. And in exchange, all the guests make a $35 donation to Habitat for Humanity. It's the 19th year they've been doing that. It's been very successful. That's awesome. All right. Coming up, Erica experiences the outdoors Scandinavian style.